Hey guys, happy Friday. Hope you've had a good week. It's a short week, I don't know why. The short weeks always feel like crazy. I mean, I guess I know why. I was gonna work on Monday and then I just didn't. I, I did a little bit of work, but you know, now that we have a pool, the pool was calling, the weather was beautiful, and it was a good day. Anyhow, I hope you guys are having a great week. It's Friday, it's almost the weekend, and it's time for Facebook Friday. Today we're gonna use that Tune In bundle. So cute. Um, as I was playing with it, I was thinking, um, this TV reminds me of my grandmother's TV. She had one that sat on the floor like that, and it was the wood paneling, you guys remember? Uh, TVs have come a long way in a very short amount of time. But anyway, this is a retro TV set and I've got three really cute projects for you. I have two bonus projects too. Usually I post one on Thursday and one on Monday, but I posted my class to go yesterday. So I'll post both of them next week. Hello everybody. Okay, let me make sure we find you. Let's see, here we are. All right. Let's see, where should I start today? You know what, I think I'm gonna start with the things that are ending, the starter kit. You know what, let's turn the, let's turn the camera around so you guys can see. The starter kit. Um, you guys, you know, the starter kit is always a good deal. Always $99 and you pick out $125 of your choice, whatever you want. Okay, hold on. Let me see where I'm at here. Okay, but right now in May, I keep wanting to say June, but it's not June until tomorrow. During this month, so today's the very last day, you can get um, a whole starter, a whole in color kit and caboodle, that's what I wanna call it. A bundle of good in color stuff on top of that $125 that you get in your starter kit. Um, so if you're interested in the starter kit, you have until like 11.50 p.m. tonight. I would say don't, e don't even wait till the last minute because you guys know what happens if you wait till the last minute. Things poof, they disappear, they're gone, and there's nobody in the office at midnight. So if you're interested in this starter kit deal, it's $99. You pick out $125 of product that you want. Then they're gonna add on five in-color ink pads, markers, a pack of the de designer series paper, and a pack, a, like a starter pack of the cardstock for you. And it's still $99 and it's free shipping. So, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, this is always a really popular uh, starter kit addition. Um, when they add ink pads, everybody's always extra interested. So this is the last time I'm gonna tell you Tonight's the deadline, okay? Um, of course, when you buy the starter kit, you also get the discount, and you get to be part of my team, which means they get they get all my free all my PDFs for free. I put out usually three PDFs a month, um, and they get discounted class kits. And you just get to be part of an awesome team. We swap, we do creative challenges, we do all kinds of fun things. Okay, done. That's the last thing I'm going to say about it. Um, let's talk about the Charming Duck Pond class. You guys, I am obsessed with this paper. I hate when people say that because I think it's silly, but I truly am obsessed with this paper. Um, I have probably ordered 10 packs of this paper and used almost pieces from each one. You know, you find a, a pattern that you love and then you use it, so you gotta get another pack. That's what I've been doing. This gingham especially, oh my God, I love it. I want just a whole package of gingham like this in different colors. Maybe they'll come up. We did have a gingham packet. Remember that huge 12 by 12 pack we had? I loved that gingham paper. Okay, uh, Charming Duck Pond. This is my class to go for June and it's actually not gonna ship until July. Um, it has five cards and a mini album. Uh, there's a PDF. There's PDF instructions for um, all of it for the five cards and for the mini album. But in addition, there's a, an, a, a video showing you how to make the album as well. I feel like the album is better explained in a video. Um, so it's there both in print and in video. 
um, the mini album. It's we've we've made this kind of mini album before. Um, it's a card mini album where you bind a bunch of cards together, and it's really fun. Um, and I mean, it's just really, really cute. I love mini albums. I think they're so fun. So this class to go has two options, or well, okay, it has four options. Option number one is for those of you that need the bundle. Here's the bundle. Um, there's no stamping. There's no pre-stamped images in my class kits. You have to do the stamping yourself. That's a Stampin' Up! policy. So you have to have the stamps and these dies. Um, so that's option one. It comes with the bundle. You get a full pack of paper, a full bolt of ribbon, and half a pack of the dots. Uh, that's $86 plus priority shipping is $8. Um, option two is for those of you that already have the bundle. You're like, I don't need it. I already have it. Or maybe you're a demonstrator. You're going to order it yourself. You just want the kit. You're still going to get all the projects, the video, the PDF, the pack of paper, the bolt of ribbon, half pack of pearls, and that is $47 plus the shipping. Uh, I, I'm pretty certain these are going to be close to a pound, so I'm doing priority shipping on those. Um, and then option three is for my downline. As I mentioned, my downline gets discounted class kits. They get the kit for $25. Um, and then the last option is for those of you who want the PDF only. The PDF does include the link to the video. Um, so when you buy the PDF, it includes that mini album video as well. Um, and that's $15. It is available in my PDF store. It's an immediate download, which means it's emailed to you as soon as you purchase it. Um, if it doesn't show up, you guys email me. I've already had a couple of people not receive theirs and email me. Not a problem. I have, I have a website that I pay to automatically email those out so you don't have to wait for me to do it. But sometimes they don't arrive. They, I can see that they've been sent, but they just go to spam or they bounce or whatever. So if you ever buy one of my PDFs and that happens, please email me and let me know and I can send it again. Okay, the deadline for this class. Here's the deal. Um, the deadline's June 21st. However, I am going on vacation. The, I'll be gone the last 10 days, really of June. So this class will not ship until probably the end of the first week of July. Usually it's a one week turnaround, but this time it's going to be longer because it, I'm going to be gone. Um, so this class will come to you in July. Okay. Okay. There is the details on that. Um, Club Create, uh, we have a week left for the Adventurous Sky um, something uh, I have learned about myself is that I cannot spell adventurous. I have typed it numerous times lately and I spell it wrong every time. <laughs> and you guys ever spell something so wrong that even spell uh, check is like, I don't know, I've got nothing for you, lady. I don't know what you're trying to spell. <laughs> That's me with adventurous guy. I think I finally got it down, but my gosh, I cannot spell. Anyhow, this is Club Create for this month. It is $45. It includes five projects, video, PDF, um, about $20, $25 in product and shipping. It's $45. You can add on the bundle. Um, when you add the bundle or blends to your uh, Club Create kit, I pay the tax and shipping on those for you as a thank you. Um, and you can join and cancel anytime you want. You can come for one month if you want and just stay for one month. Or you can stay for three months or six months or 12 months or whatever. But if you stay for six consecutive months, uh, you get $25 product credit. Um, this month, actually, well, okay, June actually is my largest number of Club Create uh, reward redeemers. There's a lot of you redeeming rewards this month, which I'm excited about. Um, if that's you, I sent you an email this week. Make sure that you click on that link and let me know what I can order for your $25 credit. Um, okay, so that is that. There is a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. Click that. It'll give you the subscription link and the full details. Um, coming in next month, the July, or the next kit, which will be in July, is the Mediterranean Blooms, um, which is another suite that I am in love with. Um, okay, hey, you know what? I need to show you guys some things that I got in the mail. Lisa, I hope Lisa's here because Lisa sent me this Taco Fiesta box. And I have to apologize because um, 
I, I told you guys I had a guy coming to clean the windows, and so I cleared everything off and put it all in this drawer, and it was down at the bottom in a paper pumpkin box, and I just thought it was a paper pumpkin, Lisa, so I'm glad that you asked me. I had opened it and looked at it and then left it so I could show you guys what she sent. But she sent me some really cute taco stuff. Um, of course, the card uh, is so cute. And then she just found all these goodies. Look at these little guys. This was exactly what I had um, in mind when I designed the stamp set. I wanted them to have these cute little faces. So I can't believe you found these, Lisa. These are super cute. They're from Hallmark. Um, and then let's see, do I have some other things in here? These little, oh, these little earrings are so cute. Look, can you guys see they're teeny tiny and they have a little cactus, like a little sunset cactus. Lisa, you're so thoughtful. This is all so creative. I don't know where you got this, this Fiesta necklace. So cute. You guys, I have a, a Fiesta, um, Taco Fiesta memory box that all of you sent me Taco Fiesta stuff. I'm keeping it in there. Um, as memory. Look at this little Taco Fiesta uh, taco card and it has in here a little, um, what do you call it, chapstick. Gosh, Lisa, this is so cute. This is, I mean, you just did so much work on that, on this whole thing. So, so cute. Thank you, Lisa. Also that little gnome. I mean, there's a lot of taco stuff out there. People like tacos. <laughs> Oh, anyways, thank you, Lisa. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. And very thoughtful. Let's see, I got another Taco Fiesta card. Now, you guys are going to have to forgive me because sometimes I take things out of things and I forget who they're from. So, I this is from Sandy. And this is my favorite thing to do. Um, remember, we had the bottle punch. You, so, you, you punch the bottle and you put the little... Um, little pepper on there and it makes a hot sauce bottle. Isn't that cute? And I love these letters. I don't use our dye letters enough. I need to do that. This is really cute, Sandy. Thank you so much. Um, I got, let's see, I got this card and I just opened it yesterday. Look at this. This is the, the, um, what do you call it? Light the sky, light the night. Oh, we haven't made one of these cards in a long time, the slide and lock card. We need to do that again. Um, this is from Dee. Dee, you sent me some paper and I greatly appreciate it. And I love this card. I'm gonna have to remember um, this slide and lock. We've, we've done this before during Facebook Friday and it was super fun. So um, anyway, I'm gonna struggle getting this in. You guys, I cut my finger so bad last night. So it's like double band-aided. <laughs> <laughs> is that a is that a verb double band-aided um i dropped the blade to my food processor on the ground and then i reached over to pick it up not paying really close attention and i on the blade oh my skin still crawled it was awful so it's like my pointer finger on my hand on my right hand and i'm having a hard time doing anything um this beautiful card is from Chris. Chris always sends me beautiful cards. I love it, Chris. Really pretty. Lots of details. And that embossing folder, that's the circle embossing folders. I um, haven't used that. I need to use it. I need to pull it out. Really, really pretty. All right, last one I'm going to show you. This came all the way from Australia, you guys, from Robin. Um, and I already, Robin, I already took all the chocolate out. <laughs> she sent me Tim Tams. Thank you. My family says thank you. And look at this gorgeous card. Look at this. I mean, my goodness. This is amazing. Look at that. This is so, so, so incredible. This is like a, a work of art. Um, but she also sent me this. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. My husband was like, what's wrong? When I, because I was like squealing cute thank you did you do this yourself oh my gosh this is amazing i'm gonna hang this in the bathroom in here in my studio perfect all right you guys you spoil me you really do spoil me um i love getting little surprises my family's always jealous because they don't get little surprises in the mail just me just me okay um let's see anything else i need to tell you guys i don't think so um I don't think so. Okay. Well, today, oh, we need to do this. Prizes. Um, every week during Facebook Friday, I have a prize to give away. And um, I choose one person each week 
from those of you that share the video, either on Facebook or on YouTube. So Cynthia, you're the winner this week, Cynthia Otto. Um, thanks for sharing the video. Please um, send me your, your mailing address. I don't think I have your mailing address, Cynthia. So thank you. How about Bistro Burger next week? You guys, actually, next week's Facebook Friday is going to feature Bistro Burger. I need to pull this down a little bit. Um, this is a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's a weird set. <laughs> when you first look at it, you're like, what? But I love it. You're going to love the projects that I came up with, especially the pickle. Um, you're kind of a big deal. Get it? Dill. Big deal. I don't know. So funny. Anyway, we're going to make uh, three projects next Friday with this. But if you would like to win this, all you have to do is share on Facebook. Share this video on Facebook or YouTube and leave a comment. Let me know that you shared, okay? All right. Put it right here so I don't forget it next week. Okay, that's it. Now, if you guys haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I always choose like a bundle or a stamp set and we do three projects with it. Um, and this week we are doing the tune in. Okay, that's crooked. Is it my phone that's crooked? Okay, hold on. I gotta look. If I turn a little bit this way, it's delayed, so give me a sec. Okay, that's better. Um, if you go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, the post is up. I did. I put it up early today, and I checked the PDF. PDF was correct for me. If anybody else finds that it's wrong, let me know. Um, I'm reading your comments, and I'm distracted. Okay, um, there's a free PDF there. It has the measurement supply list on there for the three projects that we're going to make. It also has the things that we just talked about, the Charming Duck Pond class, the Starter Kit Special, Club Cree, and... Country Woods All-Star Video Class Tutorial PDF. Um, I didn't mention that, but today's the last day to earn that as well. Um, and if you like today's projects, I will send them to you for free as a thank you. They look like this when they come to you. Um, all you have to do is place an order, $35 or more using this host code. The host code is also on today's PDF and on my blog, and I'll update the video here with it as well. Um, you will need the tune in bundle okay i don't send stamped images you got to do the stamping yourself guys that's the fun part you don't want me to do the stamping you need to do the stamping yourself my desk is dirty and it needs a scrub pretend like you don't see it all right let's get started let me get my first tray this first card i've, I've done a lot of swap cards lately so i'm showing you swap cards it won't let you what nadine it won't let you share um, sometimes you have to open up the video or go over to my group. Make sure you're in the Pink Buggeroo Stampers group and, and share it that way. Thanks, Karen. Uh, Karen, that picture, that AI picture you posted was so interesting. Like, she, she created an AI picture, or AI created a picture of you, right, when you were younger. And it was like, I didn't realize it wasn't real until I saw that you said it wasn't real. This AI stuff, you guys, is creepy. The way how, how it, it's just really amazing. Amazing and creepy. Too good, right? Okay, so this is a swap card. And I don't even remember what swap I did it for, but it was one of the very first things I made with the new product from this catalog. So we're going to make this. Um, this TV, you have several options. Um, you can stamp it on colored cardstock, which we're going to do here. You could stamp it on white cardstock and color it, Stampin' Blends or watercolor. Um, you can stamp it on pattern paper, or you can just use the die to cut it out of cardstock, which we'll do on, I believe, the second project, okay? But here, we're gonna stamp it. And my first initial thoughts with this was the old, you know, like I said at the beginning, the old brown television that was like in the 80s and maybe the 90s. You know, it sat on the floor and it was big and boxy. So I was thinking brown. Now later on I thought I probably should have stamped it on some of our wood grain paper, our, our uh, country woods paper, cause, cause that would, you know, that would be good, right? That would kind of match that old 70s, 80s <laughs> wood grain, wood paneling. Um, this is a large photopolymer stamp, and to be honest with you, I have a hard time stamping it on my desk. If I put a foam mat underneath, it's perfect. Um, but because it's so big, I think I have a hard time just getting it to 
lay down all the way. So get a foam mat under you if you're having that problem. I also find when the stamp is really big like this, if you turn it over and ink it, you'll you'll have a better result because when you ink it like this, if you go do, 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 like that, you miss spots. At least I do. I miss spots. And then I have to stamp it again. Like the leg is an ink or the top is an ink, something like that. Um, okay, so we're stamping that in um, Memento Black on Pecan Pie. Uh, let's, I also created, let me get all my pieces. I also created a background, which we're going to do. Um, I love to stamp tone on tone and create a background. Look at your stamps and, uh, hold on, let me grab some of this. Look at your stamps and look at kind of like the secondary images, maybe like a little flower or here in this case, we're just using one of the sentiments. Um, you could use the little lightning bolt sets in this set and just stamp tone on tone. This is blueberry bushel ink on blueberry bushel cardstock and it's not going to be perfect. It is definitely not perfect and that's okay because it's really just going to blend into the background. Okay. And then up here, we'll put, I want some of it kind of off, you know, off the sides. Um, and in the middle, I'm not gonna worry about that because we're gonna cover that up with our TV in a second. Um, we also need to stamp the little news flash, which I think is cute. The sentiments in this uh, set are really cute. News flash is what we're doing right now. There's also stay tuned for an important message. I think that's really cute too. TV has changed, hasn't it? I mean, it's changed quite a bit. We definitely, I mean, we don't see stay tuned for an important message. We don't see that kind of stuff anymore at all. Okay. Now we're gonna cut this out on the TV with the TV die. Now there are dies in this set that cut things other than the stamped images. And you'll see me use almost all of them well, yeah, I think we're gonna use all of them actually today. Actually, we're not gonna use this one. The little antenna is my favorite. Uh, remember when we used to have rabbit ears on the TV, you guys? <laughs> remember that? I don't miss those days, that's for sure. Um, we're gonna cut out the rabbit ears. This one right here is a little bit wider and it's bigger um, for the stamp. If you stamp the, but the rabbit ears, this is the one that will cut that out because you can see through it. And then this is just the TV screen. And this is our silver foil, which I am loving. I have been using it a ton. All right, run it through your cut and emboss machine. There's our TV. Put your dies back. And let's get all of these pieces. I need to get some new plates. My Everything is sticking to, in the grooves of the plates. All right, and we're gonna take a little bit of glue and we're gonna put, um, yeah, that's right, Kimberly, we were the remote. Yes, I remember the dial. You go switch the dial. Yep, I do remember that. All right, put that right in the middle. And then the rabbit ears I put kind of wonky, kind of crooked if you will. Let me put that, let me pick, well, come on. I need to get some new putty. I feel like I always say that. I need to get new putty. I go through it quickly. All right, so there's that. And then this right here, we're just gonna chop off like that. And we will just snip, snap, and make it a little rectangle. Get your dimensionals. And we're gonna put that on there. Now we're gonna set that aside to dry. And I want you to look at this little like postage rectangle, postage stamp square situation. We have the perennial postage dies and they're all rectangle. Well, there's some smaller circles, but there's no larger circles. And I saw on my friend Melly Hyde, her Instagram, she had taken her postage rectangle and cut it in half. And then she got a square and she, um, she made this a square by, by uh, gluing it like that. And then you put the square on top of that, okay? Pretty easy. I haven't done that in a long time. 
kind of chopped up a die cut to make a different shape, but keep it in mind because you can do it. And if you look over here on the sides, you can match the little, the little grooves so that it's perfect, okay? I didn't cut mine straight, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna cover it up with some dimensionals and that square like that. Okay, and then we're gonna get some more dimensionals and do like that, kind of to the side, okay? All right, now here's that wood grain paper that I should have stamped the TV on. You know what, in fact, I actually did stamp the TV on the wood grain. I made it and then I didn't do anything with it. I ran out of time, so maybe I'll make one more card with it. All right, so I put a little strip there and we're gonna put this here and we're gonna put that right in the middle and there is your card. Now we're not done. We've got to add some embellishments. Now, okay, here's some bad news. We have a lot of things out of stock right now, quite a bit. And, and the embellishments I'm using today, I believe these are on low inventory. They are super cool. They're called adhesive back texture dots and they kind of look like little golf balls. Um, I really, really, really like them. Um, and you can just sprinkle these around. I feel like I can't make a card anymore without little sprinkled adhesive back dots. I love them <laughs> so much and I, I just, I need them on every card. Literally every card I make. Okay, let's also, in on the inside, get that um, your super and stamp that in the middle. So in case they miss the subliminal <laughs> messages on the outside, they'll see it on the inside. Um, and then there's this really funky stamp that I'm calling like a glitch. You know, like when you get that little digital, like weird, you know, like the channel is out or something. And I'm just gonna stamp that like that. Can you guys see that? I need to zoom in a little bit, don't I? Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then we're just gonna put that inside and that's our card. Now you could change, I say this every week, don't I? You can change the sentiment to fit your needs. Happy birthday. Um, there's one that says you're a classic, which is really fun. I think that would be fun for like a 50th or 60th, you know, like a milestone birthday. Um, and I, I don't know, I just think that's cute. Okay, there you go, easy peasy, easy peasy. I'm trying to stay more simpler, not complicate things, because you guys know I love to complicate a project. Me and my complicated projects. Okay, Karen, I love it too, it's so cute. Let me get a drink, hold on guys. All right, hey, how's the weather where you guys are? Lisa, the president's on, he's on every channel. That still happens, unfortunately. <laughs> of course, now we can turn on Netflix, right? Or Prime or Hulu or something, and then we don't have to see him. Okay, there's our first card. The weather, you guys, have you seen how Texas is flooding and we're having all this weather? Well, guess what? I'm too far south. We're not getting any of that weather here. None of it. None of it. We need rain. We need months of rain here. We're so behind. I don't want the tornadoes and the flooding, but I do want the rain. <gasps> Anyhow, okay. This next card, um, is this the one? Yeah, okay. Um, is a gift card holder, and it features Melon Mambo, my favorite color. Um, when you open it up, there's a gift card here. This is a gift card I got a long time ago from AMC Theaters. <laughs> it has popcorn on it. It's perfect, but... I was thinking a net, you can get like Netflix gift cards that are like, you know, will pay for a subscription. So I was thinking for teenagers or college students, that would make a great gift. And so here's your little TV and you can put your little Netflix or Hulu or, or Amazon or whatever in here and then they can use it to do the streaming. My kids, that's all they watch is streaming. They don't watch regular television at all. It's either YouTube or Netflix or Prime, that's it. That's all they watch. I think it's weird. No cable, they don't even understand cable. I guess that's the way of the future. 
Okay, so anyway, so the weather's crazy, hot in California. Hey, Sydney, I'm coming to California at the end of June. I want some beautiful weather, okay? <laughs> and none of that, none of those fires or, or earthquakes, all right? I don't want any of that. Um, Central Arkansas rain. Y'all get a lot of rain in Arkansas, don't you? Um, yes, I'm sorry, Karen. We send you all of our nasty weather. I know. Yeah, so all of you up north now are going to have the gorgeous, beautiful weather while us down in the south are going to die of a heat stroke. <sighs> that time of year. Okay, so for this television, we're going to do what I was talking about earlier, how you can just cut your television out of cardstock. You don't even need to stamp it. We're also going to cut out this little diamond shape and this little, doesn't this look like, I don't know, like an alien something? I don't know. A little like, looks like from the 60s. All right, so we're going to cut those out. We're going to cut out um, from the white, we need a screen. Okay, now make, let me make sure I don't use the wrong white. Is this the white that goes on the inside? Okay, no. So we need the screen from white and we're going to stamp. No, no, we're not stamping on this. Okay. Here are these little cute rainbow. Remember when the TV would go out and there would be like that, that screen that had all the colors on it? That's what this is supposed to look like. So that's this die right here. And what I have done is cut out a bunch of them, okay? And once you cut out a bunch of them, then you can make a bunch of cards. And so we'll adhere that onto our TV. And we also need silver foil. And we're gonna cut out again the rabbit ears. And this time we're also gonna cut out this. Um, it's like the vent on the bottom of the TV where the heat comes out <laughs> and the, the dials. The, you know, where you, ch -ch -ch, you turn the dial. Yeah, that's been a long time. That's been a long, long time that we've had that, since we've had that. Okay, cut and emboss machine, let me bring it over. <laughs> Kimberly, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say the C word. Ugh. Um, it, I can't, it's something else, like when you see it cut out, like old school, like retro TV shows that you would see like in the 60s. I don't know what it's called. Uh, <laughs> I'm making you want this set. You know, isn't it funny how you can see a set and have zero interest in it, and then you can see somebody use it, and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. That happens to me, too. This week, in fact, I ordered a couple of things that I didn't think that I wanted, and then I saw them in use, and I was like, well, I've got to have that for sure. I can't even remember what it was, but it definitely was something that was not on my original wish list. All right, so who knows what this is called? Does this have a name? I don't think it really has a name. It's just a little star, some kind of cute little star. Retro star. Like maybe like from I Dream a Genie or the Brady Bunch or something. I feel like that era, I guess that was more the 70s, not the 60s, was it? I don't know. I can't, I wasn't, I wasn't around in the 60s. And in the 70s, I probably wasn't watching television enough to be aware of what was happening. Okay, let's stamp the sentiment first. Oh, darn it, we needed to cut out the lightning bolt. Okay, well, we'll do that too. Um, we're gonna stamp, no, no, we're not stamping on that. My bad, come back. We've got a, a detailed, uh, everyday detail rectangle. And I'm gonna stamp happy birthday on the right side like that, okay? So put that away, we don't need that right now. Let's, we're gonna make a rainbow on this one. When you are gonna um, adhere this little vent on the bottom, I have found that you need to make the TV screen kind of up towards the top. Otherwise, you're not gonna have enough room for this little air vent on your TV. And you can put the dials either on the side or you can put them on the bottom. And I think this time we'll put them on the bottom. So the dials can either go like over here or they can go on the sides. All right, let's put the dials. You want your, take your pick tool. It'll help you pick up these tiny little pieces that are hard to pick up like that. 
All right, and then we're just gonna get these little strips and I'm gonna arrange them and then I'll glue them down. So we want pink. And if you look, I typed in retro TV on Google and there's actually a lot of different type rainbow type situations, <laughs> rainbow screens. So the colors that I decided to use are Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, our new Summer Splash. Okay, there's Summer Splash, Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight on the end. Okay, see, this is why we place them before we glue them because I need to move them over a bit. Come on, glue. Come on, glue. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't you hate that? My shampoo and conditioner are like that in the shower. It's a rounded top, so I can't leave it sitting upside down in my shower. So every time I'm there shaking and shaking and shaking it to get it to come out, it's very annoying. All right. Last but not least, Daffodil Delight. How cute is that? Come on. So cute. So cute. You know, if you give this to a young adult teenager, they're going to be like, that's a weird TV. They're not going to have any idea. No clue. No clue whatsoever. Okay. So there's that. Let's set that aside to dry. Um, for your card base, let's put this upside down so I don't have to shake it. Thanks, Janet. Hi, Janet. <laughs> um, this is a four and a fourth by five, or four and a fourth by 11 inch um, card base, right? You scored at five and a half. Actually, two and three fourths, five and a half. Then on this short panel, I just cut off a fourth or half an inch. I didn't change the measurements. I just figured you can just chop that off, okay? Um, Trisha, say what? You can put, you can buy screw top lids on Amazon so you can stand up your shampoo. Oh my gosh. Really, do they fit any shampoo bottle? Any? That's crazy. I'm gonna have to find that. Darn you, Amazon. Man, I, I wanna stop ordering from Amazon, but I can't. It's too many things. All right, let's make a pocket, <laughs> a little notch in our pocket. Just take your, um, any circle will do, right? Any circle. Um, and just do like a little crescent. I need one of these for my shampoo bottles. That's what I need, something that would hold it. Maybe I should just put like a cup in there and just set my shampoo down like that. Okay, fold this over and let's just get our clothes pins to hold it closed. You just wanna put adhesive on those sides because we're making a pocket. All right, now you need this piece of Melon Mambo, and I gotta get my grid paper again. And we're gonna stamp the little diamonds, and I wanna straighten this stamp up because it's not on here straight. I'm gonna get ink all over my fingers. Oops, upside down. There we go. Um, Melon Mambo ink. We're gonna just do a diamond pattern just like we did on the first card. And I'm just gonna, you know, randomly stamp my diamonds. Sometimes you might wanna turn it upside down so the diamonds are a little bit different. But again, background, no one's gonna really be studying your diamond pattern whatsoever. Really, the only ones I try to worry about are the ones out on the edge, because those are really the only ones that are gonna be seen. There we go. Now, oh, don't close that. Get your small blending brush and you know what before we do that I can tell that this has like a rough edge on it let's trim it there we go all right get your blending brush and just go along the edge we want to just make it really bold we want it to really just kind of pop we have a basketball tournament this weekend in Austin Saturday and Sunday, you guys. <laughs> this is the first time we've actually had to travel and 
I know I shouldn't complain, but uh, it's not what I wanted to do this weekend. <sighs> the things we do for our children. All right, where did my white paper go? I mean, I like basketball. I just also like to sleep in my own bed, right? All right, we need Daffodil Delight. Did I use that? Where did I put that? Hold on, hold please. Daffodil Delight Ink. Oh, it's over here. In its home. Okay, little lightning bolts. I forgot to stamp those, so let's cut those out real quick. Travel sports. I swore we'd never do travel sports. And here we are, traveling. At least it's two hour, only two hours away. She has a friend who travels every weekend and they go all over the country for, for basketball. Definitely, that's definitely a no for me. Can't, I can't imagine the cost of that, right guys? I mean, yeesh. Okay, these three little lightning bolts you're gonna put behind. You're gonna put behind the television coming out. Okay, now we are ready. Let's bring back this piece. I have a um, piece of the um, what's it called? Lily Pond Lake Designer Series paper. Just to strip. When I was designing that duck album this week, I saw this and I thought, you know, doesn't that kind of look like your screen when you get like, you know, when it's fuzzy? I thought that's what that looked like. Okay, so we're gonna put that. Again, this camera is not low enough. Let's try again. I feel like it keeps like popping up or something. All right, we're gonna do this crooked. And we're gonna attach this guy to the back of the TV. Coming out. I thought that kind of looked like a ticket. You know, like you're gonna buy a ticket to the show. Not that you would buy a ticket to a TV show, but I don't know, that's where my mind was. Now put this down low-ish. For one, that antenna does not need to stick off the edge of the card. But also, I wanted to put these lightning bolts in my first card, this one right here, the I almost didn't have room to put the lightning bolts. So you want to leave yourself enough room to put those. And I guess they're not lightning bolts. They're like sound, you know, like, like a cartoon image for sound. I don't know what you would call that. All right, last one goes right there. Like noise. <laughs> noise. Okay. Now we're going to put that onto our gift card holder with dimensionals. I'm going to put that right there. I love using Melon Mambo. I feel like Melon Mambo doesn't get used enough. We never have paper that uses Melon, designer series paper that uses Melon Mambo. So I, it gets neglected. So I like to use it when I remember. And this one, I was really wanting a bright color, colorful card. Here's that same pattern of paper. When you cut this piece, uh-oh, did I not cut it short enough? Let me trim it. When you cut this piece four by five and a fourth, you're gonna have that strip left over and that you cut that one to an inch and that's the one you use on the front. All right, and then we've got another piece of white that we're gonna put right there. And then where are our little stars? We're gonna put these on here. Oh, you know what? I think I put the lightning bolts on the inside, didn't I? No, I didn't. All right, and then we'll just put this one here and this one here. And there you have it. No bow, guys. I made a pink card with no bow. That's very unusual <laughs> for me, very unusual. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? Now, if you needed to make this for a boy, just change the pink to something else. You could do everything the same and use orange uh, pumpkin pie or Daffodil Delight as the card base, and it would be just as cute. I forgot the rhinestones. We gotta add the rhinestones. Of 
course. Like I just told you, I can't make a card. Okay, what is happening here? I can't make a card without little, some kind of dots these days. Oh, this adhesive. Let's get it right. I like these rhinestones, the tiny ones. Mm, okay, no, we need one over here. We need to even it out. All right, there we go. Now we're done with that card. Okay, card two, done. Now, last week I asked you guys for ideas, for treats, remember? And uh, somebody mentioned popcorn, so then that reminded me of something that I actually already had, and I don't remember where I bought it. It may have, um, where was it? It may have been five below, but I found them on Amazon. So I, I have linked them today. Buttered popcorn jelly beans. Not my flavor of choice, but still so stinking cute, right? Okay, so we're gonna make a cute little card, I mean a cute little box for our Jelly Belly buttered popcorn. This would make a great party favor, don't you think? If you were having like some teenage, little like preteens or, you know, like 10 year olds, I think that would make a cute party favor. Okay, and then we're gonna use the stay tuned for an important message. Let's make the box first. I have made a little template. Um, I always say if you are making a box and you're watching a video, pause it when the box is done like this so that you can just look at it and copy it. Um, a lot of times that's what I'll do. I'll, you know, listen and then I pause it after it's all cut so I can copy it the same. Now this piece of Daffodil Delay is eight by seven, so it's almost a square. So you really need to pay attention to what um, side you're scoring, okay? And the measurements are on today's PDF, right? Did I, suddenly I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, they're there, okay. All right, on the eight inch side, we're gonna score it at half. Oh, I can't use my finger. Half and one, and then four and a fourth, and four and three fourths. And then turn it and score it at half, one, and six and a half. Okay, now before we do anything, we're gonna stamp the polka dots. And the polka dots I'm using, ah, I took away that stamp set because I was playing with it. Round we go. Hold on, let me get it so I can show you which one it is. It's called Round We Go. And I'm using the larger polka dot in this stamp set. Sometimes you get red rubber stamps and you poke out the center part and it's a circle. Save those. I have actually saved those before because then you can use them as polka dots um, on your project as well. I lost the daffodil ink again. Here it is. Um, so polka dot... You know, I looked to see if I had a popcorn shape and I did not have a popcorn shape stamp. All right, so here's the side. You want it standing up like this with these two double scored lines on the right side. This is the section that's gonna be the front. All right, so I'm just gonna take my polka dot and just kind of run it down. Again, we've done this all three projects, haven't we? Tone on Tone, Daffodil Delight Ink, Daffodil Delight Cardstock, and we're just making a background. Okay, that's good. Now, grab your bone folder. Um, have you tried them, Karen? These buttered popcorn jelly bellies? I can't imagine that they would taste. You know, Jelly Belly also has that... Um, What's that game where you take a jelly bean and you have to try it? And it could be something like green apple or dead fish. It's so gross. We bought it for the kids one year for Christmas. And I mean, ugh, it's like a roulette game. You don't know what you're getting. Okay, <laughs> jelly belly. Now, first thing we're gonna do, let's come down here on this double, these two double lines down here. We're gonna cut off that square on each end like this, all right? And then we're going to 
on this side cut off the two squares so that you, and I did it at an angle because that's the tab we're going, going to adhere. Now from the, the long side, you're gonna cut in on those two squares right there and you're gonna cut that one off. And that one's gonna flap around, okay? Um, you might want to trim the corners there as well. Do the same thing here, snip, and actually, yeah, let's go ahead and snip that off. And then snip again, that outside square. Okay, and then over here, now visualize this with me, okay? This is the lid part that folds in. So that means this is gonna be the front. So we need to cut both of these completely off right here. All right, so that's what that looks like right there. Now down here on the bottom, this is where we're gonna seal the box. We're gonna snip and snip and snip, okay? Um, also right here, you want to cut these corners. This will help the lid go in the box pretty easy. All right, so if you're watching the replay and you wanna pause it to look at it, there you go, that's what it looks like. All right, now, um, tear and tape. Do I have tear and tape? I do. We're gonna put that right here long. If you have a ha long half inch tab it's, or a quarter inch, it's perfect for tear and tape. All right, so put that on there and then fold in and fold over and it really should fit. All right, oh, I forgot to stamp something else. I'm glad I just remembered that. Okay, before we put it together. Um, we're gonna put the TV like right here and we're gonna stamp those lightning bolts like up here and the down here. But you have to do that before you put your box together. The first time I did it, I forgot and I had to start over. Um, I tried to stamp them and they didn't, they don't stamp right when it's not, when you don't have a flat surface. The second time in my individual recording of this project that you'll find on YouTube, I took the box apart and laid it flat. So if you do forget, you can undo the, the bottom part and lay it flat like we just did. Okay, so we've got that. Fold in the sides, fold in the back. Get your tear and tape. And put that right there. And then peel this off. Okay, come on. We want the adhesive to stay. Let's try the other side. There we go. Like that, fold up like that. Now, I'm gonna stick this down here and push. Well, that's not really long enough, is it? Let's use a ruler. Kind of set that adhesive like that. All right, so now just put your little popcorn in, fold in, fold in like that. All right, there's your box. Now, let's make the cute TV. We're gonna stamp the TV in memento black. Did I take the TV away with the other tray? I did, let's grab it. You're gonna stamp this in memento black and stamp it on real red, okay. And then on the white piece, we're gonna stamp that fun sentiment that says, stay tuned for an important message. And we're gonna use the inside the screen die, if you will, the screen die to cut that out. And again, we gotta cut out our um, rabbit ears, our antenna. You know, I remember even having rabbit ears in college, so it really wasn't, well, I guess that was 25 years ago. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that wasn't that long ago, but it was. It was back in the day. Does anybody still have a TV with rabbit ears? I know you can, you can still use rabbit ears. Remember that time, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago when they were like, you must, something, they were changing the TVs all to some kind of digital thing. 
and you had to, I can't remember, it was like your old way of watching TV wouldn't work. I don't remember what that was, but I do remember at that point, we did have a TV that had rabbit ears. So it wasn't, wasn't that long ago. I don't think. It all blends together, doesn't it? It all blends together. Hi, Rory, thank you. Catherine, you remember? Um, we have an antenna for the TV in my motorhome. Oh, Nicole, really? That makes sense. That totally makes sense. All right, let's put this right here. Whenever I see that sentiment in the font too, it makes me think of like little kids, you know, like laying in front of the TV on their stomachs watching TV. I don't know, just that time period. Back when things were simpler, way simpler. They weren't staring at their phones. Oh, back in the day. Okay, now I did something ahead of time to save us some time. I stamped the sketch plaid, memento black on basic white. I trimmed it down to about one and a half. I think maybe it's one and a fourth. And we're just gonna use it like this, just a strip, okay? And then dimensionals, dimensionals, bow, and then we're done. These would make great party favors. We weren't paying for TV, that's true. That is true, TV was free, I do remember that. <laughs> You're right, it was free to watch TV. Uh-oh, did I lose my antenna? Where did it go? Oh yeah, okay, hold on. The good old days indeed, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna put that like that. And then let's get our rabbit ears back. And then I didn't use a bow on the first two projects, so we have to have a bow on this. Um, I wanted some little sparkly dots, and I looked at our catalog at the embellishments that we have, and there were these things called faceted, iridescent faceted gems. And in the catalog, they look like they're blue and purple, but they're not. They're these right here, if you guys can see. You know, iridescent things pick up other colors. So when I turn it, I can see the other colors. They're kind of like a little star. Um, and they're really pretty, but they're on, they're out of stock right now. So, <laughs> like all of our embellishments are out of stock. It's been a very busy month, but they're all coming back in the next couple of weeks. I, I exaggerate, not all of them, but a lot of them. It's the game we play these days. All right, put all your dots, your sparkly bits on there. And then I had one more idea. These textured adhesive back dots, can you can put that instead of cutting out the little knobs. You can just put this here like for the knobs, like that. And there you go. Cute box. You could put other things in here. Milk duds. We talked about milk duds too. That would be fun, right? Okay, so now let me show you the bonus project. I didn't post one of them. I usually do it on Thursday before to get you guys excited, but yesterday I didn't post it. So I've got two, two projects for you, okay? Whoa. Um, this one is a like a stair step card, okay? It's kind of hard, it was hard to photograph too, but it stands up like that. And I used that really fun watercolor kind of, that kind of reminded me of like a digital screen type situation. And like I did the news flash all the way across, like a rolling, you know, like a rolling banner. And then this one, I had fun, I cut out, I stamped the TVs on Gorgeous Great, Poppy Parade, Melon Mambo, Highland Heather, bubble bath and pretty in pink and cut them all out and made them the background and then did that rolling um, banner again with our funky stars and that's flat that won't need an extra stamp <laughs> or the more expensive stamp I'll post the details on these next week okay okie dokie you guys that is it here are our three projects remember if you want me to send you a kit a make and take kit for free um, all you have to do is put in a, a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight using that host code right there, and I will send them to you. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you liked them. Um, 
Now I've told you guys this before. When I have a stamp set that I love, I like freeze. I, I feel intimidated that I'm not gonna do it justice. I have a hard time getting started on it because I, you know, like I, I just kind of freeze. But, and this one was kind of like that because I liked it so much. But once I got going, I was happy with the projects and I'm glad you guys liked them. Okay, next week, Bistro Burger, that weird little hamburger set. <laughs> it's a weird little set, but I like it and I think you're gonna like it too. Um, join me next week, uh, same time, two o'clock Friday. And I will see you guys then. Have a great week, you guys, all right? Stay safe if you've got that bad weather coming. Bye, guys.